Currently and historically, in the magistrate's court of our country, where all criminal proceedings commence, the state is being represented by members of the Guyana police force. And the defendants, meaning the persons who are charged with the different offenses, have a right to retain a lawyer of their choice. This has been going on for decades. And what we have found is that the level of representation is not balanced. And many times, victims of crime and the state's legal interest, and indeed the public's interest, are not adequately represented. Simply because, on the one hand, you have an untrained legal mind, a police officer prosecuting, and on the other hand, you have a seasoned, experienced lawyer appearing. Naturally, the scales of justice are not going to be balanced in those circumstances. I don't mean any disrespect for the police force, because they have been doing this for decades and have acquitted themselves with distinction despite their lack of formal education. But as our society is evolving and developing, we have to change these inequalities and inequities that exist, in particular in the legal system, which thrives for justice, fairness, and equal treatment. So the government has decided to change that, and we can't at this stage afford to put a fully trained lawyer in every magistrate's court in the country, what we have decided to do is to utilize a large number of young people in our country in particular who are possessed of a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of Guyana and from other universities, but who, for whatever reason, may not have been able to complete their legal education at one of the regional law schools in the Caribbean. We intend to target those persons and to train them specifically to prosecute, teach them the basics of evidence, the basics of criminal procedure, and the basics of criminal law. Of course, they have already have a strong foundation, having a university degree in the area of law. It is felt that a person who is so circumstanced would be in a far better position to represent the state's interest than a police person who is wholly untrained, other than a basic training course in prosecutor, prosecuting. So the Attorney General Chambers and Ministry of Legal Affairs, in collaboration with the University of Guyana, devised a program to make this a reality. And that is the program that you are seeing now advertised by the university, inviting applicants. The program is being fun funded through the Support for Justice, um, Criminal Justice uh, Program, which is an IDB program ex being executed by the Ministry of Legal Affairs. It is intended that that program will pay the tuition and associated costs for 35 students for this year, and then we intend to do the same next year. And hopefully the government, upon the completion of that loan program, will continue to fund this initiative. It is expected that we will be able to yield in every magistrate's court in Guyana one of these persons at a minimum. I believe that it will have a significant impact on the criminal justice system. I believe that uh, victims of crime, I believe that the state's interests, I believe that public interests in criminal proceedings will be better served if we have 
more qualified persons in the form and type that I am referring to are there representing the state's interest, along with police officers. The, these persons, once they graduate and they become part of the program, will obviously be operating as part of the prosecutorial arm of the state under the constitutional supervision of the director of public prosecutions. In addition to that, we plan to this year, and I will speak about it in the budget, uh, donate to the Guyana Police Force a large quantity of computers and printers that will be used by these prosecutors, and indeed all prosecutors and investigators in the police force to prepare and type statements. If you have the misfortune of being charged by the police and you become a defendant, you will realize that the statements that are going to be served upon you, which will constitute the evidence against you once the trial begins, those statements are done in handwriting. And sometimes it is extraordinarily difficult to read and decipher the handwriting. We plan to put an end to that archaic practice, and we hope that the, 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 the use of these computers and uh, printers will, will bring an end to the handwriting statements being distributed in the criminal justice system, and those statements will be re re replaced by written statements. I believe that that also will bring greater efficiency, clarity, and credibility to the criminal justice system. 